Hello everyone. I join you today from Port St. Lucie, Florida, here at the uh, corner of Emerson and Grandeur. Now, this looks like an empty lot to anyone else, but this once had a house here, and this belonged to Mary Jo and Blake Hadley. Tyler Hadley would take their lives. Tyler Hadley was their 17-year-old son and my good friend. We went to school together. When I first moved to Port St. Lucie, he was one of the first people I ever met. We would hang out, mom would make us pancakes, dad would throw the football with us, we'd skate with him and his brother, you know. So I really didn't believe it whenever the news came out that Tyler had done, you know, that tragic act. A chilling moment by moment account of a teenager accused of targeting his parents in a murderous rage. A police report offering graphic detail about what police say happened inside Tyler Hadley's Port St. Lucie home. The police say Tyler Hadley confided to Michael Mandel, his best friend. Tyler told me what he did. The documents describe what happened that night in the Hadley home leading up to the double murder of a mother and father. Mandel recounted to police that Tyler Hadley told him he stood behind his mom who was at the computer and thought about killing her for five minutes. He then started hitting her with a hammer as she screamed asking why. When his father came out of the bedroom, Tyler allegedly told Mandel he and his father stared into each other's eyes for a minute. Tyler said he then went after him and his parents' bodies ended up in their own bedroom covered with household items. Take the life of both of his parents with the back end of a hammer, but it's true. On July 16th, 2011, Tyler did take the life of both of his parents at this location. and putting their bodies into the bedroom with furniture and other family memorabilia. Following that, he would throw a large party of which he posted invites on Facebook and there's, uh, you know, a typical teenage party, drugs, alcohol, and, uh, you know, unbeknowingly to most of the party goers, there were two corpses laying in uh, the room sitting here where this house once was now they've now since removed the house only on five demolition crews spent the day tearing down the home where one of the area's grisliest crimes was committed tyler hadley is in prison for killing his parents with a hammer in their port st lucie home it was very eerie and very weird because it no longer even looks what it used to obviously it's just an empty plot being used, you know, about other neighbors are using their lot, you know, for recreational purposes. But, um, just eerie. And I'll never forget, you know, the good times that I had with him. But, uh, you know, it's hard, it's hard, weird to be here again. See it like this. Because this was a happy home from what I saw. This was the norm. May Mary Jo and Blake Hadley rest in peace. 